Miguel de Cervantes Saavedra, 1547-1616, stands as a monumental figure in Western literature with his magnum opus, Don Quixote, 1605 and 1615, often hailed as the first modern novel. Cervantes' literary journey was shaped by the rich cultural, social and political climate of Spain's Siglo de Oro, or Golden Age. Born in Alcalá de Henares, Cervantes lived through a period marked by profound political changes and the flourishing of arts and sciences under the Habsburg dynasty. Despite financial struggles and personal hardships, Cervantes was captured by Barbary pirates and spent five years in captivity. His works displayed a unique blend of satire, realism and idealism, merging the rich traditions of medieval and Renaissance literature with a fresh modern perspective. Cervantes' Don Quixote is often considered the pinnacle of his literary achievement. However, the novel is more than a humorous account of a deluded knight-errant. It also reflects Cervantes' deep engagement with the literary forms and conventions of his time. His career as a playwright, poet and novelist revealed a restless creativity that critiqued the moral, political and social conditions of his world. Among the many literary influences Cervantes absorbed, one of the most prominent is the picaresque tradition, which was gaining popularity in 16th century Spain. While Don Quixote transcends simple genre classifications, it draws heavily from this form, adapting and subverting its conventions to create a narrative that both celebrates and critiques the hero's romanticized view of knighthood. To understand how Don Quixote functions as a picaresque novel, it is necessary to explore the characteristics of the picaresque tradition and examine how Cervantes manipulates these features to serve his literary aims. Understanding the picaresque tradition, origins and evolution. The birth of the picaresque genre. The picaresque novel emerged in 16th century Spain with its most celebrated early example being Lazarillo de Tormes, 1554. It arose during a time when Spain's imperial power was at its zenith, yet its internal social fabric was fraying under the pressures of economic instability, religious conflict and class tensions. The genre provided a lens through which authors could explore the darker, often unseen side of society, poverty, corruption and the hardships faced by the lower classes. In its most basic form, the picaresque novel follows the life of a picaro, or rogue, who is typically of low birth and must use wit, deceit and cunning to survive in a harsh, often corrupt society. These novels are episodic, with the picaro moving from one adventure or misadventure to another, serving various masters and navigating the social order's complexities. Unlike the idealized heroes of chivalric romances, the picaro is an anti-hero, whose life is shaped more by necessity and survival than by noble ideals or moral integrity. Key features of the picaresque The picaresque genre is defined by several key characteristics. First-person narrative. The picaro often tells their story in the first person, providing a personal account of their life and misfortunes. Low social status. The protagonist is usually from a humble background, which contrasts sharply with the noble figures of chivalric or epic tales. Episodic structure. The narrative is typically fragmented consisting of loosely connected episodes that highlight the Picaro's various adventures. Satire and Social Critique Picaresque novels often function as satires, using the Picaro's perspective to critique societal norms, institutions and class structures. Moral Ambiguity The Picaro operates in a morally grey area, frequently engaging in deceptive or unethical behaviour, to survive in a corrupt world. The Spanish picaresque canon. Alongside Lazarillo de Tormes, 
Works like Guzman de Alfarache, 1599, by Mateo Aleman and El Buscon, 1626, by Francisco de Quevedo, further developed the genre. These novels reflected the shifting realities of Spain's socio-economic landscape, where poverty and class distinctions were increasingly prominent. Each of these works portrays the Picaro's struggle to navigate a rigid, hierarchical society, offering readers a grim yet often comedic view of human nature. Don Quixote and the Picaresque Tradition Parallels between the Picaro and Don Quixote At first glance, Don Quixote may seem worlds apart from the Picaresque novel, given its focus on the delusional knight-errant who seeks to revive the long-dead ideals of chivalry. However, Cervantes masterfully intertwines the picaresque tradition into his narrative, particularly through the character of Sancho Panza and the episodic structure of the novel. In many ways, Don Quixote himself can be seen as a kind of inverted picaro, a figure whose misadventures, though driven by noble intentions, ultimately reflect the folly and absurdity of his idealism. While the Picaro is typically motivated by survival, Don Quixote is motivated by his delusions of grandeur and his deep-seated belief in the values of knighthood and romance. Yet, like the Picaro, Don Quixote moves from one misadventure to the next, encountering various individuals who exploit his madness for their own gain. His experiences reveal the wide array of social classes and corrupt individuals he encounters, a hallmark of the picaresque narrative's exploration of society's moral and ethical failures. Sancho Panza as a Picaro figure If Don Quixote is an inversion of the Picaro, then Sancho Panza, his loyal squire, serves as the more conventional representative of the genre. Sancho is a peasant, grounded in reality, whose loyalty to Don Quixote is motivated not by idealism, but by the promise of material reward, namely the governorship of an island that Don Quixote promises to bestow upon him. Throughout the novel, Sancho's pragmatism and common sense provide a counterpoint to Don Quixote's fantasies and his episodic misadventures, being tossed in a blanket, duped by a supposed duchess, and governing a fake island mirror the Picaro's experience of a corrupt and unpredictable world. Sancho's interactions with Don Quixote and the world around him highlight the tension between idealism and reality, one of the central themes in Picaresque novels. Like the Picaro, Sancho must navigate a world where deception is commonplace and social hierarchies are rigid. Yet, unlike the cynical Picaro, Sancho remains fundamentally loyal to Don Quixote, suggesting a complexity in his character that transcends the traditional boundaries of the picaresque. Satire and social critique in Don Quixote Critiquing chivalry and nobility Cervantes' use of the picaresque genre in Don Quixote allows him to deliver a powerful critique of the chivalric romances that were popular in his time. By juxtaposing Don Quixote's lofty ideals with the harsh realities of the world he inhabits, Cervantes exposes the absurdity of these outdated codes of honour and nobility. Just as the Picaro's life reveals the hypocrisy and corruption of the upper classes, Don Quixote's delusions highlight the disconnection between idealized notions of knighthood and the gritty, pragmatic concerns of everyday life. In this sense, Don Quixote's misadventures serve as a satirical commentary on both the literature of chivalry and the social structures that uphold these ideals. His interactions with various members of society – innkeepers, barbers, priests and nobles – reveal the moral failings and pretensions of each class, much like the Picaro's encounters in picaresque novels. Through Don Quixote's eyes, the reader is encouraged to question the value of these social hierarchies and the literary traditions that sustain them. The Role of Irony in Don Quixote 
One of the defining features of Cervantes' novel is its use of irony, a tool that aligns closely with the satirical tone of picaresque literature. Throughout Don Quixote, Cervantes employs irony to subvert the reader's expectations and expose the folly of his protagonist's quest. Don Quixote's idealism is undercut by the reality of the world he encounters. Windmills become giants, inns become castles, and peasants become princesses in his distorted vision of reality. This use of irony serves a dual purpose. It allows Cervantes to poke fun at the conventions of chivalric romance while also engaging in a broader critique of human nature. Much like the picaresque novels Picaro, who reveals the moral contradictions of society, Don Quixote's experiences expose the gap between appearance and reality, suggesting that the ideals of knighthood, while noble, are ultimately unattainable in a world rife with deception and self-interest. The episodic structure and its picaresque elements. A journey through social classes. One of the defining characteristics of both picaresque novels and Don Quixote is their episodic structure, which allows the protagonist to move through various layers of society and interact with individuals from all walks of life. In Don Quixote, Cervantes takes this structure and applies it to the world of knight-errantry, as Don Quixote and Sancho Panza journey through the Spanish countryside, encountering a host of characters, each representing a different social class or profession. From the humble innkeeper to the wealthy duke and duchess, Don Quixote's adventures bring him into contact with a broad spectrum of society, much like the Picaro's encounters in traditional picaresque novels. These episodes often function as mini-satires, revealing the absurdity and hypocrisy of each social stratum. For instance, Don Quixote's encounter with the Duke and Duchess, who delight in mocking his delusions, exposes the cruelty and vanity of the aristocracy while his interactions with peasants and labourers highlight the harsh realities of life for the lower classes. Fragmentation and Continuity The episodic nature of Don Quixote also mirrors the fragmented structure of the picaresque novel, where the narrative is not driven by a single, overarching plot, but by a series of loosely connected events. Each of Don Quixote's adventures serves as a self-contained story, yet they are united by the central theme of his quixotic quest to revive chivalry in a world that no longer values it. This combination of fragmentation and continuity is a hallmark of both the picaresque and Don Quixote, reflecting the chaotic and unpredictable nature of life itself. Moreover, the episodic structure allows Cervantes to explore a wide range of themes and ideas, from the nature of reality and illusion to the tension between individual idealism and social conformity. By presenting these themes in the form of discrete episodes, Cervantes invites the reader to engage with each adventure on its own terms, while also considering how these individual stories contribute to the novel's larger philosophical and satirical aims. Moral Ambiguity and the Nature of the Hero Fragmentation and Continuity One of the most significant ways in which Don Quixote engages with the picaresque tradition is through its exploration of moral ambiguity. In traditional picaresque novels, the Picaro is often a morally ambiguous figure whose actions are dictated by necessity rather than any higher ethical code. Don Quixote, too, exists in a morally ambiguous space. Although he is driven by noble ideals, his actions often lead to harm or confusion for those around him. His well-intentioned attempts to defend the weak and right wrongs frequently result in violence or chaos, as when he attacks a group of merchants or frees a group of convicts, only to be repaid with ridicule or betrayal. Cervantes uses this moral ambiguity to question the nature of heroism itself. 
Is Don Quixote a true hero, driven by a pure sense of justice and honor, or is he a fool, blinded by his delusions and disconnected from reality? Cervantes leaves this question open, allowing the reader to interpret Don Quixote's character in different ways. This complexity aligns with the picaresque tradition, which often portrays its protagonists as neither wholly good nor wholly evil, but as flawed human figures navigating a corrupt world. The Duality of Don Quixote and Sancho Panza The relationship between Don Quixote and Sancho Panza further underscores the theme of moral ambiguity. While Don Quixote represents idealism and the pursuit of noble causes, Sancho embodies pragmatism and self-interest. Yet, both characters are more than simple caricatures. Don Quixote, despite his madness, possesses a deep sense of compassion and a genuine desire to make the world a better place. Sancho, despite his greed and opportunism, is ultimately loyal to his master and demonstrates moments of wisdom and insight. This duality between the two characters reflects the broader moral complexities of the novel and the picaresque genre as a whole. Cervantes refuses to offer easy answers or clear-cut distinctions between right and wrong, heroism and folly. Instead, he presents a world where individuals must navigate their own moral choices in a society that is often indifferent or hostile to their ideals. The Legacy of Don Quixote as a Picaresque Novel Influence on Later Literature Don Quixote has had a profound influence on the development of the novel as a literary form, and its engagement with the picaresque tradition has played a significant role in this legacy. By blending elements of the picaresque with chivalric romance, Cervantes created a new kind of narrative, one that combined the episodic structure and social critique of the picaresque with the psychological depth and complexity of the modern novel. Many later works of literature, particularly in the 18th and 19th centuries, were directly influenced by Don Quixote and its picaresque elements. Novels like Henry Fielding's Joseph Andrews, 1742, and Tom Jones, 1749, as well as Lawrence Stern's Tristram Shandy, 1759-1767, drew heavily from Cervantes' use of satire, episodic structure and moral ambiguity. The picaresque tradition, as reframed by Don Quixote, became a central feature of the European novel, influencing writers from Dickens to Dostoevsky. The Enduring Appeal of the Picaresque in Don Quixote the enduring appeal of Don Quixote as a picaresque novel lies in its ability to reflect the complexities of human experience. Cervantes' characters, like the Picaro, are caught between idealism and pragmatism, nobility and self-interest, morality and survival. This tension resonates with readers across time and cultures, offering a timeless exploration of the human condition. In conclusion, while Don Quixote is not a picaresque novel in the strictest sense, it draws heavily from the tradition, adapting its themes, structure and moral ambiguities to create a narrative that is both a satire of chivalric romance and a profound meditation on the nature of heroism and reality. Through its engagement with the picaresque, Don Quixote challenges readers to question their own assumptions about society, morality, and the power of literature to shape our understanding of the world. Cervantes' masterpiece stands as a testament to the enduring power of the picaresque tradition and its ability to illuminate the complexities of human life.